What's up, Internet? Dito sa Hardware Sugar, gusto namin na dumami pa yung mga tao na interested sa PC building, a hobby that we all know and love. So, yung mga videos namin, talagang sadya na beginner-friendly, wala masyadong jargon, hindi intimidating. We try to approach PC hardware as very approachable. Pero atin-atin lang, alam naman natin mga enthusiasts na kasinungalingan yun. PC building is hard as f***. And at least for this video, I'm not going to pretend it's not. Tatalakayan natin yung ibang dahilan kung ba't sobrang hirap and frustrating magbuo ng computer. Pero bago nun, the easiest part of building a computer is activating Windows 10 kung kinuha mo yung activation code from our sponsor. Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan mo ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, kalito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com This is an extension cord. This is a power plug. This is me plugging in the power plug into the extension cord. Wala pang 10 seconds, tapos na. This is me plugging in my very beautiful custom PSU extension cables from Cable Mod. Mga isang oras ako dito kasi sobrang sikip ng space sa likod ng case ko. And we all know that cable management is hell. Yung PSU extension cables ko are what they sound like. You plug them into your existing cables and the other end plugs into your hardware. Dali lang sabihin, pero in execution, it's a real pain in the butt having to dig out the proper wires, thread the new cables through the grommets, hide the old wires, and the new wires. Isang halimbawa lang to of how the simplest things can be super hard. Another example, yung pagpalit ng GPU. Dapat sobrang simple lang, di ba? Pero if you've ever had to remove a big GPU from your motherboard, you know that sobrang hirap hanapin yung PCIe release latch kasi natatakpan na siya ng GPU. So your fingers are there poking around in your motherboard kung ano lang hinahawak doon, hindi mo pa rin mahanap yung PCIe release latch. And that frustration extends to adding basically any new part in an old build. Adding storage on paper sounds easy. All you need to do is plug in the SATA data and the SATA power into the drive and you're good to go. Pero kasi nasa existing build na siya, nakaset na yung cable management, sobrang sikip. Yun nga, if you watch that live stream, makita mo talaga na inayos ko siya off camera para madali na lang yung pagpasok dun sa additional storage. On paper, it sounds really easy. Just install a new drive. Pero sa PC building, walang madali, walang simple. Isang mali mo lang sa computer and you can waste a lot of money. And there are so many opportunities to make mistakes. There are the very obvious ones like getting incompatible socket CPU and MOBO or getting a CPU na akala mo may integrated graphics pero wala pala so ngayon kailangan mo nang bumili ng GPU. Sa PC building, maraming nadadali sa maling akala. Kahit ako, I built a new personal rig a few months ago. Full ATX size case so akala ko syempre pasok lahat ng parts, hindi ko na sinukat. Ayun, patay ako, ang haba pala ng GPU tumatama na siya sa AIO. Fortunately, open type case siya, so inangat ko na lang yung AIO and I think it looks pretty good now. Pero syempre, hindi pwede to sa isang hardware sugar customer. The customer expects that we know enough about computers. Nakaasya naman lahat ng parts na sinuggest namin. And it's really those little things, yung millimeters na clearance for CPU coolers, yung kakaibang ATX size case na SFX PSU pala kailangan, Yung ang daming high-end RGB na ubus na yung internal USB headers. So many little things that can really wreck a build if you don't check them beforehand. Ngayon iniisip mo, malamang tanga to si Anton and di mo ulitin yung mga mistakes ko. So mag-research ka. And if that's the case, good for you. But our PC hobby doesn't make it easy to research. Kasi una, it's hard to research. And pangalawa, it's hard to remember what you researched. And both of those reasons come from the fact na Sobrang gulo ng naming conventions sa PC world. For example, itong tough monitor. 
Yung designation niya is VG279QL1A. You have no idea what all of those letters and numbers mean. And maraming PC parts na ganun nun. Ang dami mga letters, dami mga numbers, but they're nonsensical. So, nag-research ka, ano ba yung difference ng Mac Cube 110 sa Mac Cube 110P, for example? Magkaiba lang yung isang letter. Or ano ba yung pagkaiba ng NHD15, tsaka yung NHU12S, or yung NHU12A, or yung Dark Rock Pro 4? Those are all air coolers, but because the naming convention is just letters and numbers, you have no idea what they actually mean. Tapos kung numbers, iniisip mo, logically, higher number better. For example, yung Ryzen 7, malamang mas maganda yun kaysa sa Ryzen 5. So let's say, you take the same generation. So lahat sila 5000 series. That kind of makes sense, right? Na Ryzen 7, 5000 series, better than Ryzen 5, 5000 series. Pero, ito, Ryzen 7, 5700G. But, most people would rather get this, the Ryzen 5 5600X. R5 to, R7 to, but for a lot of people, mas bagay sa build nila tung R5 kaysa sa R7. Just because higher numbers si R7 doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. And again, that confusion, that wala talagang sense yung pag number and yung pag name ng mga PC parts, kyan nakakalito. Ang hilig din ng mga manufacturers maglagay ng V2 or ng Plus. They keep the same model name, but they just add V2. Yung problema, hindi malinaw, ano ba talaga nagbago? Ba't siya naging V2? Ano nagbago dun sa V1 and sa V2? Sometimes when they come out with a refreshed version, it's not even clear na V2 na siya. Nakatambak lang yun dun sa model number niya. Biglang lumitaw na lang yung V2. And even us as a shop, when we get them from our suppliers, hindi rin binabanggit ng suppliers na, uy, V2 na to. Pag tinanong mo rin sila, kailangan din nilang hanapin kung ano ba nagbago between V1 and V2. Ganon din yung plus. Ang dami mga models na something-something plus. They keep the model name, but they add plus. And it's the same problem with the V2. You don't really know ano ba nagbago para mabigyan ng plus yung pangalan. And sometimes, the changes are actually quite good. For example, yung Deepcool CF120. Good ARGB fans, pero... Ang layo ng difference sa CF120 Plus, which has more lights and has the cutouts. The CF120 Plus have more light bleed because deep cool cut out more portions of the fan, mas kita mo na yung RGB. So there's a big difference between the CF120 and the CF120 Plus, pero dun lang sa pangalan, you don't or you can't tell ano ba yung binago. And so just from the name, it's hard to tell, do I want the Plus? Do I want the V2? Okay lang ba na mas mura kunin ko yung lumang version? Do I really need kung ano ba binago nila doon sa new version? Ayun, nakakalito. And when you're building a computer, sometimes you just think to yourself, hindi ba pwede simple lang? Wala bang one size fits all? And yun talaga yun, unfortunately, wala. Kahit simple lang layunin mo, I want a gaming computer. Ang dami pang mga questions after that. What kind of games do you play? RPG, shooter, MOBA, MMO, indie. Yung games ba na yun, more CPU intensive or mas GPU intensive? What resolution do you play at? 1080p, 2K, 4K? What kind of graphics card do you have? So, dapat bagay yung sync na yun sa monitor mo, whether FreeSync or G-Sync. Yung simpleng objective lang na yun, I want to build a gaming computer. Ang daming mga side questions that you need to answer and you need to know a lot about the hardware that you're using para tugma talaga yung bilhin mo na rig dun sa need mo. Depending on how you answer all of those questions, ibang-iba talaga yung build na mabubuo mo. Hindi lang sa gaming. You want an editing computer, for example. Yun, dami rin tanong. What kind of editing do you do? Music, photos, video. Kung photo, gano'n ba halaki yung mga raw files na ginagamit mo? Kung video, do you shoot in 4K? Uh, what kind of software do you use? Kasi paminsan, yung free versions ng editing software, hindi naman talaga ginagamit yung GPU. So, sayang lang, if you spend a lot of money on an expensive GPU, you're, you might as well end up activating na rin yung editing software mo. Kahit yung sobrang simple lang, work PC. Again, what kind of work do you do? Do you need something na 100 tabs, kayang-kaya? Or sobrang simple lang ba na surfing, word processing, Excel files? Do you have a lot of things running in the background, like downloads? Do you need the PC to be able to stream properly para maka-online meetings ka? And again, like the other builds, how you answer that will really change ano yung lalagay mo sa computer mo. 
walang one size fits all sa computer. Kailangan parang damit yan, tailored sa kailangan ng user. And depending on what the user needs, will really change ani yung hardware na gagamitin mo. Ayon, four reasons why PC building is hard as heck. But don't worry, hang in there. Next video, babalik ulit tayo sa regular programming where we're super supportive and yung attitude natin, kaya kaya natin yan. Oh, you know, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna show builds. We're not gonna talk in jargon. Yung super beginner friendly ulit. Pero paminsan, <laughs> it's good to be candid and you know, I mean, talaga natin na there are aspects about PC building na nakakalito talaga, super confusing, even for us who have done it for a long time. So, if you're just getting into the hobby, or even if you're a veteran, definitely we encourage you to research. And to save yourself some stress, you might want to go to a trusted PC shop that can guide you in the proper components that you need and that can assemble them already for you. You know, kind of like what we do here at Hardware Sugar for our customers. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.